Hello, everybody. Welcome to another session of Pastor Doug's virtual VIP Midweek Bible Study. And I'd like to welcome my ministry partner, Pastor Tall Doug, here today. And uh, we want to just talk to you for a few minutes. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're, as you know, we're in this series about 40 days of community. And I think we're, we just finished week five, right? Yes, we finished week five and we were talking about serving together. And uh, I, I think this this has been such a big deal and such a big transformation for me and how I was raised in my church life, my, my whole life up into, into my 40s. And uh, I want to be real clear, and I think Doug will appreciate this too, where, where he worshiped were great people, really, really good people, good, honest, God-fearing people that, that loved the Lord and, and wanted to build his kingdom and everything. But the, the concept of getting outside of the church doors just really wasn't there. It wasn't really what we talked about. That doesn't mean they weren't charitable. That doesn't mean they didn't recognize needs around. But one of the things that we've tried to do here as pastors of faith churches is to recognize that that our church and, and our abilities need to go beyond these church doors. And we need to go beyond just helping each other and and making sure we're all okay, but realizing that the, the world is in trouble. And there's lots of people in our immediate community that, that really have needs. And one of the things that we have done differently as a church body is our, our mission area that we, that we see it. Uh, we do locally. We try to, we try to help the local uh, uh, organizations that are, that are doing what we think are good, qualified, uh, faith-based operations, and, and some maybe aren't as openly faith-based, but they're doing good things helping people, and we try to support them. And uh, But we've got to serve together. And, and everybody, I think one of the general themes of, of faith church is everybody is a minister. Everybody's a tenant in some category, and everybody has an ability to serve somehow, somewhere, some way. Would you agree, Doug? Absolutely. And that's not just something that, that you and Faith Church have come up with. That's biblical. Mm -hmm. It specifically says that we are all ministers, not pastors, but we are all ministers. And, and that gives us maybe even just thinking about that, that title, that, that gives us maybe more motivation or some better focus to reach out and help other people. Well, and, and that's what we try to do as a church. And, and the big thing about this 40 Days of Community uh, campaign is that your your ministering area is outside of your church walls and you, you got to get out there and you've got to recognize the needs that are out there in this world and you, you've got to go after them and try to help. Uh, every single person that's breathing on this earth is a creation of God and our, it's our job to help them and support them and, and try to meet the needs that they have and and at the same time share the, the love of Jesus Christ with them. And the sacrifice that Christ made. So that's kind of what we do, and we, and we target folks that maybe aren't from a church-based background. That, that we can reach them and talk to them about what's going on in their lives and share the love of Jesus Christ with them. And it's not an easy process. It's not an automatic process. And as I said, it's kind of different than what the general church approach uh, used to be. And and we've said this before, and this comes from Rick Warren that. Pastor Rick Warren from Saddleback, that, that we want to be a, a hospital for the hurting and not a hotel for the saints. We, you know, we, we love our people and it's kind of neat to get together and see each other each week and, and hug and pat each other on the back. But, you know, we're interested in helping people that are hurting. And that's what a lot of ministries uh, that we have within the church are, are doing. So in, in doing that, we need to serve together and, and, uh, I want to just have Pastor Doug go over some of the points of, of why uh, should we be serving together? The first point, uh, we're family. First Corinthians uh, chapter 3, verse 9, we work together as partners who belong to God. What's that mean? Well, um, he loves to do this to me. He loves to <laughs> set me up and then put me on the spot. <laughs> And you'll always come and, through. Well, what, what it means, it's, it's fairly straightforward, uh, I think. Uh, as Pastor mentioned, we are all creations of God. We're all created in God's image. However, we have to choose 
to follow Christ. We have to choose to become children of God. And once we are those children, we're one family. There are many different church organizations and buildings, but there's only one church. We all belong to the same church, the Church of Jesus Christ. And I heard this recently, I thought it was interesting. God does not have any grandchildren. <laughs> We're all children all right. of God. Right. And we can't, we can't, for example, um, uh, decide for our children. I wish we could sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but everyone has to make up their own mind and make up their own decisions. So we cannot choose Christianity for somebody else. We can plant the seeds. And, and that's part of our job uh, is to, to share uh, God's love uh, by example. And when you mentioned earlier, Pastor, about how all churches are, are good people trying to build God's kingdom, I never thought that way. Mm-hmm. In, in all my decades of church in, in different, different denominations, that, that concept never dawned on me or was never explained to me in those terms that, that by, by sharing God's love and by sharing the gospel, the ultimate goal is to to share and build his kingdom. So that's that's kind of a new concept, new to me once I came here to Faith Church. And we work as a team. Uh, if, if you take just take Doug and I, for example, we, we each have different strengths and different abilities. And and what's really cool about it, and this is just being honest, is that I know Pastor Doug knows what my weaknesses are. And, and I know what his weaknesses are. And we know that. We don't flaunt it. <laughs> we don't make a big deal about it. But we help cover each other because we want to, We have the same purpose. We have the same goal. So having the same goals in mind to build God's kingdom, we utilize each other's abilities to, to make one half good pastor out of the both of us or whatever. But but we kind of do that. And and it's it's kind of, we haven't spoken about it. Where, you know, he says, well, I know, Doug, you're Pastor Doug, you're weak in this. And I, I you know, we don't do that. We just kind of know. And that's kind of how it works within your family, too. If you take your family at home, you know, you're covering and protecting each other. But together, you should be productive. And, and that's what our goal are. Our goals are to build God's kingdom. Our goals are to share the good news of Jesus Christ. So we work together to do that. And we utilize the best of both of us and the best of Pastor Jim all together to, to make that message as clear as we possibly can. And, and it's a goal each Sunday to do that. Each Sunday, there's a goal to, to share information, to sing, to pray, to pull everybody together, to help gain the focus, to be able to make some points about what God's word says about how to build his kingdom and how do we grow as Christians. So number one, we're a family. And, and so being a family, we need to be together. We need to spend time together. And you may have somebody in your family who's alone. They don't like to come to the Thanksgiving dinner. They don't want to be, a, they want to do their own thing. I, I get that. Sometimes that happens. But families are to be together. Families are to work together. Exactly. Point number two, <clears throat> because we need each other. Romans 12, uh, verse 5. Each of us finds our meaning and function as a part of Christ's body. But as a chopped off finger or cut off toe, we wouldn't amount to much, would we? What does that mean? <laughs> Try to beat you to it. That. <laughs> Why don't you share with us what that means? <laughs> well, I think as, as a few of us mentioned earlier in our discussions, we can do things by ourselves and we do. Um, and we can be successful to a point, but we can accomplish so much more when we work together. Uh-huh. And I think back to our days, uh, early days as teammates. Uh-huh. You know, my weakness was shooting. Uh-huh. Where I could rebound the ball, I get it back out to Doug, who could then shoot the ball for us. So <clears throat> as a team, we work together and accomplish the goal of winning. And here, uh, our, our faith family team, uh, our goal is to build God's kingdom. And it's not just about adding numbers, but uh, as Christ said, he came to give us life and to give us abundant life. So he wants us to live a really good life. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't specifically mean we have material things, but uh, regardless of whether you have much or little, having that confidence, that hope about eternity with Christ 
you know, it puts uh, what we do now in, into perspective. You know, we can suffer and, and challenges now, but compared to eternity in heaven where there's no pain, no problems, just, just glorious living, this is nothing. See, when we talk about working together, too, you take the concept, and I think back early on in the early days of Faith Church, um, I would make the announcements, I would do all the prayers, I would do all of those parts, and then I would give the message, and it was all okay, because that's the way it was set up. But but now that's not the case. The the load and the responsibilities are shared and, and, and divided up. And part, part of the thinking there is, and, and from my perspective, I really, really want you to know who Pastor Doug is, Tall Doug, because he's a good guy and he's a great person. And I've known him for 50 years. And I I know, uh, having known him uh, better lately, I know how good of a person he is. He's a great person. And and so from a church perspective, I want you guys to know him. I want you want you to understand who he is. And, and so I want him to be exposed to that he's speaking, he's talking, he's sharing his information, he's doing his classes, he does his, his uh, daily uh, devotional that he sends out. And, and, and because people can't relate to everybody, but they can relate to certain ones. And, and so we want our church family, yeah, maybe, maybe you, you don't relate to me very well, but you can relate to Doug, or you can't relate to Doug, but you can relate to me. And that's all good, and that's okay. And so on purpose, we're, we're exposing this is the talent and gifts that God has given him, and here he is. And he does his classes, and he does far better than I could ever do at those, for sure. And then Pastor Jim has his skills at his set. And, and so on purpose, we're, you're getting to know them by the each week. They're talking to you. You see them. They're present. You see what they do. You, you know what they, they like to do. You see them in the, in the training classes and everything. And that's all a good thing. Because what I have learned over the years is not everybody wants to approach me, but they would feel comfortable approaching Doug. Or somebody might not feel approach, approaching Doug, they'd rather approach me and or with Jim. And that's all good. But that's what we're doing. And we work together then. And and I can tell you for sure, between the two, of there's no jealousies. There's no animosity here. We're working together. We have goals. We have tasks. We're trying to build God's kingdom. That is the ultimate goal, and and we kind of say whatever that takes, whatever that looks like. Then then we just kind of kind of do our thing and we work together. And uh, we can say honestly, we don't always t- totally agree with every single detail, but we'll talk things out. We'll, we'll we have a pastors meeting every week and we'll discuss mm-hmm. things and and we'll go over what we like, what we don't like, or what we think should happen. And and I think we've created a forum where you're allowed to voice your opinion. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's, there's no hesitation. <clears throat> All of us in those uh, pastors' meetings are, are completely free to, to speak our mind. And, and often what happens is uh, maybe the initial thought gets slightly modified based on inputs from other people. Pastor Jim is, is very experienced and very knowledgeable. So, you know, uh, that's, the, that's how a team works. You can't rely on one person to do it all. One person cannot do it all. And, and that's the thing. We, we'll have a topic or an idea, and we just kind of go around the room. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And then <laughs> between the three or four of us, we try to come up with the right thing. And we think it's okay, but but there will be a lot of times, oh, I have this idea, and I think this is what, by the time we're done talking, we don't do anything like that. It's something else, or it's taking a, a different twist or turn, or somebody says, well, you know, I had that happen one time, and here's what. And so that's knowledge for us. But but that's the way we kind of bounce off of each other. And and I want to tell you something. We come into the, it's, it happens in this room where our meetings are. There's no egos in here. No, we're, we're, we, we know we don't know it all. We're trying to build God's kingdom. God has brought us together. He's chosen us to be part of this. And that's why we're working together to try to. Be, and we need you. You guys are the biggest part of, of this church, not the pastors. It's It's not that. We're directors. We lead. We think about this all the time. This is our 24-7 responsibility. We think about it all the time. But our job is to set up things to lead you, to show you, to share that's coming from God. We feel like God's leading us. He's showing us and directing us. And that's what we're trying to share with you. This is what God has said. You've really gone on a long time. We're already almost 15 minutes. Oh my so goodness. let's get to the last point. Well, I was just going to finish up real quickly <laughs> and say, 
when we do brainstorm and have a really good idea, he always says, I'm glad I thought of that. <laughs> no, the next week. I go, hey, guys, I got an idea. <laughs> Number three, because we get more done. Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse nine. Two are better off than one because together they can work more effectively. Think about this. Think about this. The number of people that I could personally counsel, and, and I think Pastor Doug will admit, it wears on you a little bit. Sure. It wears on because because now you're if you think about it, you're dealing with your family and look at the different issues that are within your family. We have a hundred families. And so not everybody is is open to all their information, but a lot are. And so we're dealing with that. We we have to share the load. And and quite frankly, I love it that there's folks that feel very comfortable going to Pastor Doug. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's said. He doesn't come to me and say, hey, well, here's what's happening. Unless it, it needs to be done, we don't really share the personal counseling things. Sometimes we'll share things that need to be prayed for. But, but, you know, we, we try to work together to build God's kingdom. And that's what we're doing. We're serving. But the true message behind the serving message is it's all of us. We're all together. Everybody plays a role. Our buddy uh, Kim Lewis was just here. What did Kim bring in? Part, his, what he was doing in his role. What did he do? Well, for our small group, uh, we decided to, to uh, buy a bunch of hygiene and food items for uh, serving for all, mm -hmm. and um, and Kim filled his car up and uh, brought it today and dropped it off. So on Monday night we're going to package all that individual gallon size bags and deliver them. So there he is uh, in the middle of a Wednesday taking care of yeah, it, driving down there and picking it all up. Guys, this is what it's all about. But the the, the true thought here, or one thought I want to be clear, is it took the small group of Pastor Doug to think about those ideas and come up with them and now act on it. Mm -hmm. Now fulfill that. And all of our small groups are doing that. So I'm really excited. We talked a little bit in the meeting today about some of the different things going on. And we're thinking about there should be a way where we can eventually share everything that's happening and open up the idea to the rest of the church. Cause I know other people in the church would like to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're working together on that guys. Listen, We've gone a little longer than we usually do, but we love you. We're trying to build God's kingdom together, but we can't do it without you. We need your help. We thank you for your participation in the small group classes. I hope that can continue. Uh, we're real excited about what's on the horizon for our church. God bless you, and I hope you have a great day.